Shalom. Yeah, ready. Shalom and welcome to the Gospel Bite channel. Uh, this is a channel where we seek to encourage ourselves and share the word of God with you. And I'm very delighted and glad today to have my brother, Brother Stephen Awito from Ghana. And uh, today we are privileged that he has taken a very important uh, topic, thought to share with us. And the thought is uh, the revelation of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So we realize that the Bible is the Lord Jesus Christ in print form. So it's always necessary that we read the Bible to see Christ on the pages of the Bible. So we, without much ado, I will invite him to expound unto us the Word of God. Uh, Brother Stephen, if you are listening to me, welcome to the program and join it right now. Amen. Thank, Thank you, you, Brother Lawrence. It's uh, so, so wonderful, wonderful and uh, it's, it's our, our joy, joy always to meet, to meet on this channel. channel. Uh, I receive greetings from brothers all over and I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's start with a word of prayer. Most gracious Father, thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are beginning this program and committing the sharing of the word abroad into your hands. May you water it in your own way. Add your blessing to it. Amen. Amen. Let's start by going to Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17. And I read that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the transpired. And these two authors is existing to now. The Bible says that Abel offered a more excellent, according to according to according thought to in the denominations that Cain brought rotten fruits. In fact, and that made his offering to be rejected. Okay, so there was something that Abel saw. Abel, by revelation, saw that the fall had something to do with blood. And according to the law of Moses, he said, eye for an eye, two for, for a tooth. So he saw that if the fall had something doing with blood, then it must take blood to appease it. Hallelujah. So his sacrifice of was not just a mere sacrifice, but blood must be shed. This is a prophetic revelation. This really ties what God was doing to reconcile man back to himself. And that's why the Bible says that the, and God sent a lamp of God who was to take away the sins of the whole world. Hallelujah. And the blood of Jesus Christ is not just a blood of man, but the blood of God. It takes only the blood of God to really wash, our, wash away our sins. Hallelujah. So you see that Abel's, Abel's sacrifice was really pleasant because it was according to what the revelation of the word of god when you read hebrew chapter 9 verse 22 the bible said that without shedding of blood the son asked him father where is the for the sacrifice and abraham prophetically said god will provide himself a lamb god will provide himself so that is really prophetical on reaching the scene, when Abraham wanted to do the sacrifice, really God really provided a lamb. This really tied what God was doing in Jesus Christ. The Bible said that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Hallelujah. That whosoever believes in this man will not perish but have what? Everlasting life. So prophetically, 
Abraham was doing something according to the revelation of the word of God. Hallelujah. Which every son or every daughter should have. Amen and amen. Brother and sister, when we're talking about the revelation and how to worship God is something so important. Without it, you are not in the will of God. Without it, your worship is in vain. When you read Matthew chapter 15, verse 8 to 9, Jesus says some of these Pharisees who thought they were really worshiping the God of Yahweh. He said, it's in vain you worship me, teaching for commandments of doctrines of men. You can see that in Matthew chapter 15, verse 8 to 9. These are people who really cherish their faith. These are people who really believe in what they were doing. But when they came in contact with Jesus Christ, Jesus told them, When she came in contact with Christ, Jesus told her, you worship, but you don't know what you are worshiping. This is a woman who had faith in what she was doing. And yet Christ will have to scold her and tell her that you are worshiping, yet you don't know what you worship. So it really behooves on us to really know what we are worshiping, what you are doing. Is it in the will of God? Is it in the provided way of God? Hallelujah. Now, when you read the Bible in John chapter 4, verse 24, he said, We must worship God in spirit and in truth. Spirit. Many are not ready to worship God in, in the truth. They just want to have their own way out. But God really wants us to worship Him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Man and when you religion now, people want to have a fellowship in this way. Oh, the fatherhood of God. Oh, the brotherhood of man. Oh, we love each other. And that is all. Doctrine doesn't matter. Oh, doctrine divide. My brother, my sister. When you have that mentality, then I can tell you you are lost. Because God really wants you to worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Amen. When you reach the 6 verse 53 jesus said something there he said unless you eat the flesh of my flesh and you drink the blood of my blood you have you don't have my life in you hallelujah amen but when you come to So it behooves on you to really obey the doctrine of Christ, to accept the doctrine of Christ, to walk in that revelation. And it is only in that that you can have a unity in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you see that Christ wanted to see his bride in that way, that one day he, Jesus Christ, will say, this is the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh. Hallelujah. Amen. Brothers and sisters, it's, it's not anybody who goes to church that is a son or a daughter of God. Even in the study of the word, you could see that the serpent seed are not far away from going to church. The, a serpent seed can go to church, can do all that, but with unrepented heart. When you read the Bible in Hebrew chapter 12, verse 17, the Bible says that Esau carefully shoots with tears. Esau, this is, this is a man who took his birthright for granted and later have realized it and want to take it back. You can't. This is the nature of so many people today. They are seeking God with tears, but not according to the revelation of the word of God. Amen. And they are just caught with tears. And they will never find him because it is not in the way of God's approach. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us look at Judas, Judas Iscarot. He had the an anointing and he could a what? Minister, he could heal, he could do all that, but he was not repented. Judas Iscarot was a seventh seed spiritually. This was a man who even walked in the ministry of Jesus Christ. 
Hallelujah. Amen. So, brothers, if you are hearing me today, it behooves on you to take a study on what you are doing. It behooves on you to meditate upon what you are doing and ask of God's own way, God's own counsel, so that the Bible says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous go into it and they are saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus wants to see him in the way, in the approach that he has ordained in his, in his provided way. Don't forget. Jesus threw a question to the disciples. He said, whom do men say that I am? And by a spiritual revelation of the word, Peter said, you are the Messiah, the Christ. And Jesus said, flesh and blood have not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And upon this rock, I'll build my church. Upon this rock, I'll build my church. And the gate of her shall not prevail against us. God is building his church not on any man. God is not building his church. Whom Jesus Christ is. God Amen. is burdened mystical body, full of washed saints, born again saints. That is the temple God is burdened. He is burdened the church on the revelation of the word of God. Amen. God is not burdened. God is not burdening his church on any kind of interpretation as we are seeing today. So many people are following man. So many people want to have their own way. But it is a revelation on whom Jesus Christ is. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When you come to the I want to stay. Message believers that God is not building his church on a revelation of a man. No. God is building his church according to the revelation of the word of God. Amen. Yes, it's true. God speaks to prophets, and and God has really used the man William Abraham. And the Bible said in Hebrews chapter one verse one that in certain time God spoke to the prophet, but today He is declaring His word, His counsel to His son. God in certain times spoke through the prophet, but in this last day, God. Is speaking through the Son. Hallelujah. Amen. The Son is Christ. Amen. Christ is living the sacred scriptures. The Bible says that search the scriptures. In it, you think that you have internal life. They are they that testify of me. Hallelujah. So it goes on us. William Brother message point you to Christ. It goes on us to allow God to reveal himself to us in the pages of the sacred scriptures. And that's why the prophet said, when you read the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation, and you don't say Christ, go back and read it again. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's all about, let's allow the revelation of the scriptures. Because this many have flouted even in the Godhead. Jesus is humanity and Christ is what? Divinity. Jesus Christ is not a two-third or a three-third part of the Godhead. God was in Christ revealing himself, reconciling the world back to himself. Amen. Jesus Christ was fully man and fully God. The body of Jesus didn't pre-exist. Christ manifested himself in the Old Testament and came to reveal himself through the man called Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus grew up. He grew from his child, and the spirit came embodied, incarnate in him in River Jordan. Yes. So God was really in Christ, re reconciling the world to himself. My brothers and sisters, in the message, I will stay and give you this advice that till you walk in the revelation of the pages of the Bible, of the pages of the scriptures, you can't really see this Christ. Is by the revelation of the word of God. It goes on us to really study the word 
and know what God wants us to do rather than standing on some quotes and verses. Hallelujah. Quotes Amen. and quotes of men. Hallelujah. Amen. But all these are really part of it, but they are not in the fullness. The fullness is Jesus Christ. The fullness is Christ. Prophets were part of the word of God. But Jesus Christ is the full word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So this morning, any question to ask, is Christ really centered in your life? Can we see Christ in what we are doing? When it comes to your marriage, when it comes to your career, when it comes to your activity, can we really see Christ in what you are doing? Christ, Jesus, should be the ultimate goal. He should be the one that is centered than anything. Anything that comes between you and Christ is an idolatry. Hallelujah. Amen. The devil took John to Patmos. And that was where he had the revelation of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. John, when he was taken to Patmos, the enemy thought he has finished with John. But that was where God actually began the revelation and gave John the book of what? The revelation of Jesus Christ. I want to give you a counsel that anything that you are going through, any manner of life, that is not the end. The Bible says that all things work together for good. In tribulation, remember that Christ is the totality. Have the joy in you. Walk in the revelation of the word. And that is your portion. Amen and amen. Amen. I thank you this morning. And I pray that anyone hearing this word will not take it lightly, but will meditate upon it and receive the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Over to you, Brother Lawrence. Amen. God bless you, my precious brother, Brother Stephen. Uh, this is a wonderful... Over to you. Yes, I'm here. This is a wonderful exposition of uh, the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible said... Uh, that the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ may make known unto us who the Lord Jesus Christ is. And uh, like our brother indicated, many people have covered themselves with religion. When uh, the sin factor happened in the Garden of Eden, man went and uh, started uh, their own covering. But God will have to slaughter an animal and cover them. And so the whole thing about the, the, the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ is based upon God revealing himself unto you. Now Cain and Abel, who were to sacrifice, uh, Cain had a revelation yeah. and knew that it was all going to be the blood. But uh, Cain offering was rejected because he lacked that revelation. And uh, we saw also in the life of uh, Abraham, who had a very intimate uh, relationship with God. God tested the faith of Abraham, and uh, he was to also sacrifice. But uh, when, the, when the son asked him, Dad, where is the lamb for the sacrifice? Abraham prophetically said, God is going to provide himself a lamb. And God did provide the lamb. And that was a prefigure of that what was going to happen on Calvary. Our Lord Jesus Christ dying to share his blood to redeem mankind unto himself. And so we see that the Bible also says that in John chapter 4 verse 24, God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And so the whole thing is based upon revelation in, in spirit and in truth. But what do we see in this end time? A lot of people uh, tend to say the, the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man. And they tend to uh, say that doctrine doesn't matter. But a, a, a doctrine is very important because 
when God created uh, Adam, he later formed Eve from his side and brought Eve to Adam. And Adam exclaimed, this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. So here we see that the doctrine is the bone, or the bone is the doctrine. We need to chew the, the bone to get the full revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the flesh is the character that we portray. The character that we portray. And that is very, very, very necessary. That is very important. And so that was uh, what our brother drew our attention to this day. Our brother also said, God is not Trinity. God is not Trinity. God is the great eternal spirit at one time. And then he created a body. And that body was the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, the son was manifested. He walked the shores of Galilee. He was 100% man and 100% God. The Bible says that what God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. So God was in Christ, revealing himself unto man and bringing man back unto himself. Our brother also touched on the fact that uh, in this end time, there is a wave of believers who uh, believe that God sent a prophet. Yes, God sent a prophet. But uh, if we base our faith on the mere quotes or the words of the prophet, then we are treading on dangerous ground. The prophet really came to uh, bring us back to the Bible, back to the apostolic faith, back to the teachings and the doctrine of the prophet. So we, we need to work, accept that prophet and uh, take his word back to the Bible and leave the, the Bible and deep into the word of God, the revealed word of God, Christ, the revelation of Christ on the pages of the Bible. And if we are doing that, then we will be able to get the revelation that God wants us to achieve and attain to that level of what? Spirituality. So in a nutshell, this is the sharing of our brother, Brother Stephen from Ghana. See, Brother Stephen, we are so blessed by your ministration. May the Lord richly bless you. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you. And uh, I'll ask Brother Stephen to just close us in a very short word of prayer. Most gracious Father, we thank you for the blessed opportunity given to us. We thank you that, Father, your word has been preached and shared abroad. May every eye that comes to sit on this video him or her, in the name of Jesus Christ, in this power upon anybody, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ and rebuke it in Jesus' name. I ask that, Lord, you yourself will bless it and add your blessing to it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. We thank all of you for joining us today on the Gospel Mike channel. Uh, we, we trust you have been blessed by this ministration. If you have any questions, just uh, comment on wherever this video will be uh, posted. You can also uh, visit our, our blog, our website uh, on, uh, on the ambassadorsofchrist.ca and you'll be blessed to read more of our exposition and our videos uh, there. May the Lord richly bless you as we come your way another time by the gospel by Shal Shalom 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 and, <laughs> and God bless you so much and God bless uh, hey, God bless man. God bless